Hi, welcome to the Estimating Edges series of help videos. Today I'm going to walk through a process called the tapered spike method for additional perimeter and corner enhancement. As you can see, I have a simple tapered takeoff already performed, and I will now add the additional perimeter and corner enhancements using that process we call the spike method. To begin with, we need to create two more taper conditions and name them perimeter and corners. Back to my condition list, I'm going to copy and insert the original taper takeoff to copy the uh, internal essentials to make sure everything matches. And this condition property went to my other monitor that I will pull down. Let's go ahead and call this perimeter enhancement. Let's go to the fasteners and realize we want 50% more. So we're going to bump that to a one per eight. Uh, the twin pack at the bottom is going to add one extra uh, bead per square foot for six inches on center if needed. And I'm going to go to the drawing screen and change the color so that that corner and perimeter will stand out. And I'll strengthen the fill pattern and OK. I will copy and insert the perimeter enhancement and drag that over so we can all see it. corner enhancement. Let's go back into here. Take this back to, to 1 per 4 for 100% enhancement. In case we flip it to adhesive, that's going to be two extra beads for 4 inches on center uh, in the corners if needed. And let's go to the drawing, change this to uh, a blue and OK. Let's take this to a little bit stronger blue. Okay. So from here, let's head into the drawing screen and, and go through this spike method. Spike method is referring to uh, letting the, the takeoff know where that drain is. And so we're going to begin measuring this perimeter enhancement from the drain on a, on a section by section basis. I'm, you're gonna see that I'm gonna come slightly off of that diagonal so that I can not uh, copy over itself. And, and seeing that I'm just doing the perimeter and not the corners, I'm gonna stop at the corners and hit enter and you can see now I've created a spike for the uh, for the perimeter uh, addition. So as I go around, I'm just going to repeat this in all, all directions. And that spike, again, is letting the system know how long those fasteners need to be working. And one more. So it's, it's pulling it off of that diagonal so that we So now that each one of those is drawn, we need to do the high-low so that uh, each, each uh, perimeter enhancement knows where the drain is. So at the end of the day, we are going to remove all the other items that were carried over in this perimeter. 
and just uh, access the fasteners or the adhesive that was produced. So there is the perimeter enhancement. Now let's go do the corner enhancement. So clicking on the corner enhancement, it's going to follow the same deal and I'm going to follow the same uh, uh, flow. So again, the corner needs to know how far away from the drain it is. And the really the, the only, there's two parts of the corner that, that is affiliated with this one plane. It's really this first diagonal over on the right there and it's this diagonal over here. So watch what I'm going to do so I don't have to overindulge myself. I'm going to take care of the right hand corner and the left hand partial corner and do something like that. So as I walk around, and, and this is pretty painless once you once you've done it a few times. And again, each one of these areas is going to have to get the uh, a high low put in it because it doesn't know where that drain is until we give it that high low. That's backspace. I hit the wrong one. It's that one I want. Into the corner. Make sure this might produce an extra fastener or two, but it's really not the end of the day. So now I'm going to go ahead and give these the high lows. And this one is going that direction. This one is coming down. This one is going right to left, and this one is going up, down to up. Cool. So let's go see what the results of this look like. If I mark these two conditions, and we go to the pricing screen, again, I'm only concerned with the additional fasteners. So all these other parts are going to uh, be turned off. Okay, which just leaves the fasteners and plates. And for labor, we might want some additional fastening for uh, uh, not so much the loose leg, but maybe additional fastening here, but it's up to you. Maybe it's just the, fa the additional fasteners we want. So back to pricing screen. Now we just have the additional fasteners required for the takeoff. Let me get rid of my account code column so you can see really what that is looking like. So now these two, three, and, and or the three, four, and five inch fasteners, we probably don't need because that was a part of the spike. Those are only eights. So I'm even going to shut those down, okay, and just leave the, six, the additional six inch fasteners, okay. And there you have the spike method for additional corners and uh, perimeter enhancement. Thank you very much.